today we will discuss about uh, the scratch image in docker so before starting that first we will check what is the actual image available in docker hub and today also i will use docker cli entirely for this video so first thing we will see how we can search in docker hub using docker cli and with some keyword we are using docker search command which will actually search in docker hub and we are giving some keyword for today it will be scratch and it will list out all the images uh, which are related to the keyword scratch so here the list is and the first image is itself named as scratch and it is an official image from docker also if i read the description it is mentioning it is an explicitly empty image so explicitly empty image means the scratch image is not having any file system inside it we cannot execute any shell command on top of that image so if we want to create a container and execute some command we need to provide a pre-built application so we will discuss that in later in this video first as it is an image let's try to pull this image in our local repository to pull image we will use docker pull command and we will give the name of the image and let's try if it can pull it oh so docker is saying scratch is a reserved name so it cannot be pulled in your local repository so the question is if it cannot be pulled then we cannot build a container on top of scratch image then what is the utilization of the scratch image because it is already available on docker up so there should be some use case where we can use this like uh, scratch we can use actually the scratch image to build our own container image so to build our own container image we will use docker build command and we will create a docker file which is a base of container image okay so let's start let me create a folder for this first say i am giving it a name docker scratch moving it inside and now i will create a docker file inside it so docker file will not have any extension but this docker file name itself a kind of reserved name let's first create the docker file so in docker file the basic in container image creation the first statement should be from which image you want to build your new image on top of we are trying to use scratch image so we are we will write from scratch and then i just simply want to run one command here say run ls what is in under slash directory so what will be the folder and files i want to test let's save it now we will use docker build command we will put a hyphen t which is for tag like the image the new image docker build will create it will create with the tag which i will specify after hyphen t so let's say i am giving it demo as the image name or say i'm giving it a name say new image and i'm giving a tag like demo and i am specifying a context here say dot dot means current folder is my build context so let's try so this name should be in lower case okay so what happened it has two tasks to perform one is to pull the image like scratch and then execute a command so it failed 
at run ls slash so it is saying unable to start container process because bin sh is not found or no such file or directory because as i previously mentioned explicitly empty image which means it is not having any file system on that so obviously there will be no bin or folder or no bin sh file so that is why it is failing to resolve that and build on top of scratch we need a pre-built file so to do that i am quickly pulling a ubuntu image so i have pulled uh, ubuntu image so i can check it docker images ubuntu is there i am going to create a simple container on top of that so docker run hyphen itd name as a temp and out of ubuntu sorry and with parent process as bash so it got created so docker ps here we can see temp is up and running i'm going to execute some commands on this temp container so i'm using docker exec then temp and bash so here i will do apt update first it will take some time let's wait so it is done and then i will do i will actually install few packages here so apt install one will be build essential and one will be vim let's install them okay so it is done now i'm just going to create a simple c file like uh, hello docker dot c so in c programming the first thing we do we include some header files i am including standard io header file and then i'm starting void main and a simple statement of print so i'm just writing hello docker build okay and now i will build it using gcc say oh hello docker static hello docker.c so you can see it got created hello docker and it is already having execution permission so i directly execute it hello docker and it is working now i want to copy this hello docker executable file to my local directory which is docker scratch so it is not here so i am using docker cp command and then i am putting container name path of the file and this will be hello docker and i want to copy it to my local directory so if i open it yes it is done now i need to modify my docker file little bit i don't want to use this run ls anymore so i'm removing it i will add hello docker from my context to this location and then i will execute hello docker let's try to build this out of this docker file so again docker build hyphen t it will be scratch demo demo and the context is this one so i just try to execute so you see it got created it got built if i go here and if i see docker and i want to see images so i can see my scratch demo with tag demo got created if i want to create one container out of it let's do that then itd 
let's do run it scratch demo demo hello docker it is already present there let's try i guess i have given a wrong name here ah correct i have given a wrong name that is a typo when i build the image so there is no t on the name so now it should be fine yes so the container got created and it executed actually hello docker and it is showing hello docker build which is actually the output of that c program so if i go here ps hyphen a i can see this new container got created out of this new image and the command was hello docker and it got exited because this is not a continuous command to be executed it is a so once the parent process is completed it, the container got exited so this is how we can use scratch image in docker to build our own container images so this is for today so i hope you learn something new about docker about scratch image if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe my channel thank you everybody